Hey guys, Matthew Marr, MarrInvest.com. I want to bring you today's two-minute tip of the day. Okay, so today I want to talk about the best candy salesman I've ever met. <laughs> and you're like, Matthew, I can see that you like candy. Yes, I love candy. But the best candy salesman I've ever met looked like this guy, right? Now, I'm not making fun of him. That's what this guy looked like. He was short and he was nearly as big around as he was tall. He had a couple of teeth missing. He had this scraggly beard where you could tell he kind of shaved his neck four or five days ago and you know it just looked terrible and you could see it every time he spoke you saw his teeth and he was missing a few teeth and some were kind of crooked going crazy ways and he, he had a, a an eye problem where one of his eyes wandered a little bit so he, he had one good eye and he would be looking at you but this eye would be looking off and you didn't know if he was looking at you or not you know he, he, he really looked like uh, this crazy little guy. Well, when I, and he didn't speak exceptionally well. I don't even know that he sm smelled that well. You know, he kind of looked kind of grungy. Well, I found out that that guy was the top candy salesman for his company for like the last 14, 15 years. And when I heard that, I said, I've got to know his secret. I've got to know what he does. Well, the thing is, is people look at me and they say, oh, well, Matthew, I can't be in sales because I'm not like you. I'm, you, you know, you're outgoing and you, you, you don't mind talking to people and you're just like, hey, hey, hey. And that's what people think. You know, people have asked me, like, Matthew, are you a car salesman? They, they always have that. They always wonder if I'm a car salesman. And that's just part of my personality. That's, so that's what comes across. But you know what? You can be really great at sales and not have this personality. In fact, I would suggest that some of the best salespeople I've ever met did not have the super outgoing personality like I do. In fact, most people are turned off uh, when they see a salesman like me because they feel like, uh-oh, this guy might be selling me something, right? So they, they, they question my sincerity just because of how open I am, right? But this guy, he's very nonchalant and and uh, he says, uh, you know, he comes up to the counter and says, hey, uh, how, much is, how much is this candy here? Da, 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 da. And he talked to the guy behind the counter, and then he's like, oh, okay. And, and he'd wander around for a little bit and everything, and they'd say, well, what can I help you? And he'd say, well, well, you know, I don't, I don't know if you would be interested or not, but, you know, I, can I just leave you my, my catalog here? I, I, I sell candy, you know, to a few stores. I mean, real humble. I sell candy to a few stores, and, and you know, if you might want to buy some, if, you, if you'll just look at this, I mean, just, just let me know if I can help, all right? Totally no pressure, no pressure sales, no pressure whatsoever, you know? What do you do when you go on a car lot? Hey, you looking at a car? Can I help you find anything? Do you need anything? Like, no, if I want it, I know what I'm looking for, I'll know. I'll come get you when I want to look at something, right? But that's not how this guy was. I've said this before, one of my top insurance salesmen, when I sold insurance and I was a broker, one of my top insurance salesperson wasn't a high pressure salesperson. She did a nail business and would sit there and do people's nails and while she talked about uh, you know, whatever they talk about while your nails are being done, she would have a little long term care seminar uh, uh, trifold sitting there at the corner of her desk. And inevitably, through conversation, people would say, oh, what's that? And she'd say, oh, well, you know, I sell long-term care and insurance. And they'll say, really? Well, what's long-term care insurance? She'd say, oh, you know, uh, you know, one in two people need long-term care. You know, it's assisted living, nursing home, adult daycare, you know, that, that kind of thing. And then it opened the door. They were already paying for her service. They knew they, she was trustworthy. They were, there was no high-pressure sales, and she would sell constantly. Like one, every couple of weeks, she'd call me, and she had another, she had another uh policy she had sold. So I encourage you to uh, don't put yourself in a box and say, oh, well, I'm not going to be a good salesperson. Because if you're going to be in business, you're going to be in sales. You're going to be, if you're selling a service or product, you have to sell them. You have to sell your service or product if you're going to be in business. You, you don't, it don't just happen, right? So whether you want to be in sales or not, you're going to be in sales if you're going to own your own business, whether it's painting, cutting grass, pressure washing, cutting hair, it doesn't matter what the business or service is, you have to be able to sell yourself uh, that you are a quality person. So you don't have to, uh, don't think about, well, I'm not like Matthew. Just think about uh, doing your best, offering a good product for good quality, and you will be successful. Just keep at it. Hope this blesses you guys. Have a great day.